Something I find interesting is that uh, ultimately this is all the platonic year, or the great year. Um, you have the hours of the day going this way, and then you have the great cycle going backwards, like a, like a dreidel spinning. Uh, the outside bulge spins one ways, that's the hands on the clock going this way, or our hands on the clock going this way, and then the backwards movement is our hands on the clock going in reverse. And if you like Wikipedia, it, it uh, um, the 72, the one day of the great procession backwards, Isaac Newton gets credit for it, which just doesn't make any sense because he must have just been rediscovering this knowledge because if you just know your heartbeat per minute in your hands you can unravel all this stuff this is called the platonic year it goes back to Plato so Plato would have learned all this from Pyth Pythagoras Pythagoras would have got this from ancient Egypt and then you know the ancient Egyptians got this perhaps from whatever earlier civilizations the Sumerians and and uh, all the cultures that they traded with so all of this scale and variant harmony is ultimately the platonic year. That's why it all corresponds with the platonic solids. But it's also it seems to be wrapped up with every single culture. So whoever had this great knowledge back then shared this knowledge and spread this knowledge across the globe. And it became a fundamental part of religions and how they built their temples of worship or worship um, through scale and mirror and harmony. So it's ultimately the Platonic solids, you know, and the Platonic year. But it's us in the middle of all of it, measuring time and space and music and all this wonderful stuff. Pretty cool. Anyways, peace.